Hey guys, welcome to video one of the power development section where we learn how to generate more power, swing the club faster, so that we can combine all that good stuff we've learned up to this point and add more power into it. Because in most cases, most players don't create power in an efficient way. They create it in a way that compromises the structure and leads to very wayward shots, okay? So let's talk about how we want to generate power. To generate more power, we want to feel like we, we create that power, we create that force, we accelerate into the downswing in a more gradual fashion. What I mean by that is, for example, let's just say you're driving a car, right? We want you to feel like you, you, you step on the acceleration very gradually, you speed up gradually, rather than a very sharp jolt to start that downswing. I don't want you to step on the gas pedal to start that downswing. That's not very efficient in actually creating a lot of power. It may feel like you're putting a lot of effort into it, but all the effort stepping on that gas pedal right away it's actually not gonna produce more output, more real output that actually translates into club head speed and eventually ball speed. So when we think of that, when we think of that analogy into the golf swing, okay? Most players I see, most amateur golfers I see on the range, first time clients at the club, they try to create power, make a spack swing, they try to create power right away. They try to pull their hands down, hands come pulling down, arms leave their chest, all that stuff happens. They feel like they're being very powerful. They feel like they're, they're expending a lot of force to create power, but because of that abruptness, because of that ill sequence, you actually don't get much out of it. So if I do it poorly, if I stop at the top and break it down, they might be looking like this. Stop at the top, and then they abruptly pull their hands down, and the arms come racing through the shot before the body does. If I make it into a one motion swing, it's just the arms going. It may feel very powerful, and you may think it is powerful because that's all you guys know, but it's not the way to do it, especially if you want to have, keep that good structure to make sure the shots are predictable, okay? So, why I've shown you guys all those drills in the transition section to help prep for this downswing up, to help prep for this power development section, is if we go back to that map out drill, and the map out drill will pretty much become the core foundational drill to help you guys maintain your swings as you play golf, because it's still very early in the process of you guys learning it, it's very important you guys keep doing it, okay? So, going back to the uh, map out drill, if we're here, we squat and rotate, we shallow and down hinge, and then we keep the arms connected to the chest, and the legs push and turn you through the ball, we want to feel like we accelerate into those pieces as you connect to the dots very, very smoothly. What I mean by that is, if we get to the top of the backswing, I feel like I start pushing and squatting into the ground, I rip the ground with the feet, I do that gradually to react back up with speed. I don't want you to squat and rotate. See how can I just like sit down like that? That's not very powerful. We, we need to make sure you have constant connection with the ground. You're building up pressure. You're building up that grip and rip of the foot into the ground to explode back up when it matters. We don't need you to explode to start that transition. We need you to explode through the shot and chances are to explode through the shot, you're gonna have a much better chance of exploding through the shot if you gradually start and then you can push up rather than you trying to abruptly squat and rotate. And from there, you can't push back up, you can't keep structure, okay? That's not way to, the way to do it. So I really wanna make sure that you guys frame your mindset. After this first video, I need you guys, I really encourage you guys to learn how to be smooth and gradual in transition, which is very different than what most of you will probably have done in your golf swing up to this point, okay? So very slowly here, very, again, keeping everything we've done so far, smooth transition, kind of squatting and rotating, ripping the ground smoothly, building up that pressure to rip back up off the ground. So very slowly here, smooth transition, and then it can, lead to the reaction back up and around, okay? The golf swing is explosive, but we gotta make sure the sequence is right. We want the smooth uh, transition. We want the smooth buildup of energy to start transition, to start the downswing. So we have the best chance at exploding back up with speed, with power to create club speed 
and ball speed. So uh, let, let, let's, let's frame our mindset like this. We're gonna talk about this with Swing Catalyst data to back it up after we've gone, gone, gone through this section. Um, just so I wanna make sure you guys, you guys can drill this in first, then we'll look at more data just as a learning experience. So hope that helps. Any questions, let the team know we're here to help and we'll see you at the next video. Thanks guys.